Hello everyone. So this is part two of my Razer MX650 conversion. Um, the first part I replaced the, I removed the old batteries and motor and put the new motor in. And so in this one, I went ahead and built a battery box. Those are the dimensions of the battery box. And I, after temporarily having the motor, the controller on the top, I am relocating the controller above the battery box that I built. The battery box is big enough to put quite a few different sizes of batteries in, but for what I'm doing, I just slide them in and out the front. So as you can see, I just mounted the controller on top of that battery box, and then I zip tie all the um, cables together. The only cable I'm using right now off of that controller is the one that goes up to the throttle and then the one that goes to the switch on the existing um, side panel of that of the razor. So after I made sure everything fit and everything was going to work good I went ahead and cut a little slot in the side of the case there as you can see to slide the batteries in and out of that battery box that I built. Um, there I was just making the connections to the existing switch on the side of the of the case there and I'm not a big fan of those crimping connectors so I soldered on the connectors that way I knew they'd be good and tight and wouldn't come off and then after I did that I went ahead and got everything zip tied together real good and plugged all the cables in and I secured the the old box in place and then here I'm test driving it. As you can see, the, I've actually been driving it a while, but I wanted to give you an idea of the speed As you can see, I topped out around 25 miles an hour. It can do more like 30, especially if you add an extra cell. I can use a full cell pack. This gives you an idea. Pulls pretty much 30 amps until you're up to speed and then it'll drop down to 25 amps if you just want to keep it wide at the whole time. And the speed, like I said, anywhere from, like I'm a fairly heavy guy, my kids are hard to think about consistently. It does pull wheelies when you first start it, which is a little bit of a concern for me for my little kids, but as you can see it. The performance is great. It runs really well. And it's real smooth. And pretty quiet. Like I said. And so this gives you an idea. This is a little temporary uh, control panel I put on it. I can make a permanent one. And I use this for all my like, swap and all the So I can check all the numbers and see what it's pulling. It's pulling. 1500 watts, and um, it's doing about that thing. So it can go a little higher, like I said, if you had or like right, right on a fresh charge battery. And um, so this, I went ahead and put black plastic on it. I had bought years ago, actually. And the only thing that's a little bit annoying is that that black plastic has the, the spot for the pipe because it's made for gas. You know, they don't. Well, I imagine you can find them for electric, but so you can see the back one bumps out a little bit. But I think it looks a little bit nicer to have the black plastic on it. And you can see I the voltage down to 46 now. And I used, I did, I don't know, two or three miles or something. And I used 20% of the battery or something like that. So it, it certainly could go on just this little battery I'm using right now. It could probably go... 15 miles or something and you can gang them together this is that that's the little thing I added to just be able to plug in that meter you just put it in any of the setups I have and that's it for part two we'll um, we'll get some more video up of it in action with the kids riding around and try to take it out to the dirt and show how it performs in the dirt but thanks for watching